morning, Trinity Baptist Church and whoever is joining me online. My name is Ashley Winkle and it is my pleasure to bring you a devotional this morning from God's Word. In particular, we are going to be looking at Ephesians chapter 4. Starting in verse 1, Paul writes this, Therefore I, the prisoner of the Lord, urge you to live worthy of the calling you have received. What is the calling that we have received? I remember when I was a child learning about great heroes of the faith or missionaries who had amazing testimonies or even the characters um, that we know and love from the stories in the Bible and thinking that they had a calling. God had obviously put a calling on their lives to do something amazing, but what did that mean for me? Was I called to do something amazing um, in my life for the Lord? And uh, what did that mean? And I remember asking those kinds of questions and thinking, surely not me. I have never seen a burning bush like Moses did or, you know, traveled to the other side of the world to do something truly heroic um, for the Lord. But what I find interesting here in Ephesians chapter 4 is that there is no um, indication that this is a calling that only some receive. In fact, exactly the opposite. To live a life worthy of the calling, uh, Paul continues in verse 2-3, two, three, uh, two to three, telling us that uh, we are called to live with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, making every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. And that's not something for some of us to do, that's something for all of us. We are all called to live out this character of Christ and to live in this manner that Paul points out in Ephesians uh, chapter 4 verses 2 to 3. And we are all called to live lives of ministering to one another. Uh, and to what purpose? To what purpose are we all called to minister? We see that in verse 12. If you skim down uh, in chapter 4 to verse 12, it says, equipping the saints for the work of ministry to build up the body of Christ until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of God's Son. That's what we are all called to do as Christians, as followers of Jesus. We are all called to the work of ministry, to build up the body of Christ until we reach unity. And we are all called to grow in our knowledge of God's Son, Jesus, um, until we grow into maturity with a stature that is measured by Christ's fullness. That isn't a calling that lives on some people. That is a calling that is for all of us who follow Jesus. We are all called, and we are all called into reaching unity together in our faith, and we are all called to grow in our knowledge of God's Son, and we are all called to grow in our Christ-like maturity measured in His fullness. But we don't do this alone. If you jump back up to the beginning of verse 12, it says uh, that God is equipping the saints for the work and so we don't do this out of our own strength and we don't do this isolated on our own we do this in community building up each other and we are equipped by all that God gives us to live out this calling of being his followers and being the body of Christ so I hope that encourages you this morning and inspires you. Um, and my prayer is the same for you as what Paul's was, uh, that you would live a life worthy of the calling that you have been given uh, with all humility and gentleness together in unity. Uh, have a wonderful day, Trinity Baptist Church and whoever is joining online. I pray that you are truly blessed. And uh, until next time, bye.